All right. Kinstones. Motherfucking Kinstones. Wait, how am I supposed to get down here anyway? Uh. So obviously. Wait! I think that's a crack in the wall? Let me try something. What the fuck? Crack? Why were you server mute? Hang on, let me try to fix that. Um, there, oh. that should fix it. There we go. Well, I don't know what the fuck there happened. You go. I'm on a, I'm on a bet because I, I'm not. I don't have the actual roll. Well, I that hand it to you. Okay, so that didn't do shit. What does this do? Nothing. All right. It's probably there just for decorative design. All right, well, whatever. I was saying in the chat, I'm willing to bet those stones do something. Like, I know, like I know what it's there for. It's just, you always think you find something useful and only to find out, oh, it's a kinstone. And that's something you would use to, um... Like, trade it with somebody who has a kinstone. Mm -hmm. Wait... I was about to ask, isn't it possible for you to get down there as Tiny Link? No. I think you have to be uh, Big Link. Damn it! Wait a second. I just realized. Alright. Kane. And... There we go. Let's see. I'm trying to keep track of the walk for along where you're going. Oh, shit. That's a different path somewhere. Well, no, that's just a dead end. Ha! <laughs> I could still cut through rock. <laughs> nah! Another shell. Shell. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like, help, I'm drowning! <laughs> Willing to do anything, anything, then perish. <laughs> oh, Bill Wartz released a new song. Nice. Who? Uh, he's the guy who did the um, History of Japan and History of the Entire World, I guess, got a uh, video. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, aside from those videos, he's also known for doing, like, short jingle songs. Okay. I he did. The fuck. <laughs> he, he did one. He did a one a while back called "And Here Comes the S and Here's the Sun" or something like that. But the other one he's known for is literally called "Mount Sail." Mount Saint Helens is about to blow up. Oh. It's actually a kind of funny song, despite the title. I mean, I'm not surprised given his content. <laughs> A song I've been addicted to recently is that um, Sea Shanty song from the Willerman. I still have yet to play a Shanty game. Oh, not, not Shanty. It's a uh, it's Sea Shanty from the Wellerman. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love Shanty. That, that series is really good. I have the... Uh, I think ah, it's a welcome. collection on my Switch. One sip, and you're full of energy. Please look around. Okay. That's oh, a health potion. Good. Oops. Okay, I better put that away. <clears throat> Syrup witch... Oh! I think I'm gonna have to empty out the bottle. I am completely convinced his parents' name is Waffle and Pancake. 
Oh no! <laughs> Waffle and pancake. We get a mouthful. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it says to please look around. Okay. Ever heard of uh, Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy. Uh, fill it's called. Sure. I was just about to say Granny's peach tea. <laughs> God. Bit forward. Granny. I have to talk like this. I would be surprised. My grandson's a doctor. <laughs> I should have been asleep four hours ago. <laughs> so, uh, Riza, you uh, said um, your story about the uh, Mini Cooper in uh, the Walmart cart corral. Okay, so, for more context, so back in my uh, other store, we had two different types of car corrals. We had, like, the small, skinny ones that you normally see, mm -hmm. and then, like, we had these bigger ones. So, like, the the, be the best way, the basically the best way I can compare, like, the bigger ones is, like, you could probably, I'm trying to think of a good comparison. Ah. Oh, I guess you can fit a Mini Cooper in, and that's probably a good comparison. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I would put, I had to push carts that day because our car pusher called out, and um, I was about to go to break, and I saw this woman pull her, her Mini Cooper in the car corral, and I told her I was like, "Hey, ma'am, you you can't park that. It's not a parking spot." She said, "Well, I'm just going to be in right right back, be in and out right quick." I'm just like, "Uh, no." Yeah, I was like, okay, whatever, you do you. Because I'm not going to be responsible for your car. And then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, let's have some fun. So yeah. I, took, <laughs> I took the car, I took like three carts, and I was able to space them out perfectly between the bar and the car. So they wouldn't be touching each other. So I put one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, and I'm just like, now let's see what happens. And I went, uh, went on break. And I was like, oh, man, I can't see the carnage. I clocked out. I went home. I saw the car was still there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, I got called into the office. They were like, hey, um, we have you on camera doing this. Why did you do it? And I said, honestly, she deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> did you get fired for it? They're just like, they're just like, you know what? I was like, I do agree there's dumb, but I was like, well, we still have to write you up for it. I was like, it's whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> I've done so much crap at Walmart. I should have been fired years ago. Uh, to be fair, it's Walmart. Well, yeah. it's like, they they know I do, the, I do enough for them to keep me. I'm just like, you fired me, you lose one of your best workers. They're like, damn, you're right. <laughs> it's sort of similar with me, because I'm the type of worker who, like, even though I do a good job, I kind of don't have the common courtesy of helping out, of, like, being respectful to customers or respecting some of the material they have, especially since they tend to just give me the middle finger sometimes. So they're just like, eh, we can't really do shit about him because he's actually putting more effort and we kind of need him. I've devised a whole strategy of, like, how to deal with rude customers, and it's worked out every time. And what's I've that? developed it. So, how you deal with an angry customer? You re you do the same thing they're doing right back at them, but except you put it in a, you put it in kindness. That's the strategy. So, like, let's say for example, um, they get mad about a product, uh, saying that not being in stock or whatever. I was like, oh hey, you don't have this kind of shampoo. Well, sucks to suck. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's like you're not going to sit. You're not going to report it to your manager. I can, but there's not much he can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just gotta be upfront and honest about it. It's just like I can tell you what I, I can tell you realistically what to do, but ultimately it won't help you. <laughs> it sounds more like you just utilize your tone and not, you know, like obviously you're still giving out the answers, but 
It's more of just how you say it. Yeah. I think I told you. Go ahead. I was going to say, it's a good strategy. Yeah. Like, that's the strategy I've been using for years, and it's worked. To use my customers if they're being dickheads. But, yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I get customers that are, like, some of the sweetest people in the world. Like, there was one instance, actually, I was a cashier. And there was this, uh, I guess, this family of two. And, they're, like, there's little, their little girl. It's just probably, like, maybe, like, eight or nine, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, I was checking them out, and she was sitting there talking to me. Uh, I think she was she talked about Pokemon. We were going back and forth about Pokemon, and she, before we left, she said, "Hey, before I go, she ran behind the register and gave me a hug." And I was just like, "Can't resist." My she heart. Was a, she was a sweetheart. I've had instances like that with customers. I think some of them will usually be like. I like your nails, or I like your hair, because my hair is recently uh, a, com a combo of black and white, and I'm, mm -hmm. and I just smiled when I got told that. I'm like, <gasps> As I like, there are some customers I, I like them, but it's those that outweigh the mean ones, so I, I just kind of like ignore it. I can definitely agree. How am I supposed to give this potion to him? Um, am I missing something here? Alright, so... Yeah, I went there. How are you gonna get over there? Wait, a mushroom? Oh, it's a wake up mushroom for six. Lift and carry it to set. I was supposed to do that? Oh my god. Alright. Well, at least I've taken care of those uh, open spots. So now I can. And at least you it. have something. Yeah. Probably will be useful afterwards. Oh, I'm scrolling through at light speed to find the answers. <laughs> this those are the great fairy fountain looks like hmm. it I actually just found the exact spot you're at right now <laughs> <laughs> I may need rupees right now please throw me all of yours in the spring sure you will have absolutely no rupees left I can always find more. Rupees are, like, everywhere in Zelda. <laughs> but I must reward you such a kind adventure with some of my power. Oh, cool. <laughs> Another big wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Your wallet's really fat! <laughs> Alright, well, that was... Interesting. That was the thing. It exists. Yeah, it exists. Alright. So apparently that wasn't the path to go. Ah, there we go. Wait, when did they when did they announce this? Box set Prophecy Records announces an A this Don't tell me today. Oh screw you then. So want that announcement day, Konami. The Kawabunga Collection. Oh, it's already out. Nice. But it's thirty-two ninety-nine. Holy shit. 
Watch Speaking out. of... <laughs> what? CD. A fine choice, my dear. That's a limited uh, time article. Once a whiff, you're wide awake. That's why it's called a wake-up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Sure. Why 60? Why not 50? Oh, it's nasty stench chases away the sleepies. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Lick is going to need a bath after carrying that thing. <laughs> Alright, oh. Well. Da 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 what is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake up mushroom? It's because I threw. I should have guessed. Sorry. So you woke me up. Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Huh? What now? Though no oh, more well. new shoes, you probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me up, you can have them. Hold on a second, though. I just want to finish this one last bit. He's, He's not asleep. And there we go. Here, take these. These are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. Interesting. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on the special order. The king asked me to make some uh, shoes for Princess Zelda, you see? Thanks for waking me up. Come back if you ever need help with some shoe problems. Listen, Zelda needs some Skechers. Yeah, really. She needs some Yeezys. Wee! <laughs> she, she needs some light-up Skechers. <laughs> no, they're Twinkle Toes. She needs some Twinkle Toes. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I can't use the sword while using it at the same time. Okay, so now that that is done, um, I need to get back to, uh, what was it? The, there we go, the Caster Wilds. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna look up these something right quick. Back to... Damn it. I am oh. looking up what do you use his king stone for. I'm really curious. <laughs> Get out of the way. Fuck! Alright. Whoop. What the... Arf, arf. Get out of the way! You fucking serious? Wait, is there another exit? Yeah, there is. Nope. Okay. I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know how God useful it. it is for uh, a standard playthrough, though. It might be for a complete just kind of thing. Oh yeah, I should do take care of that. Yeah. All right. What? All right.
Golden sprinting at light speed with his new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Do you I feel... guess that's... Go ahead. No, the no, no. Fly! Oh! Yep, I got a cross. Sweet. Gotta go fast! Yeah, really. I knew he was Pegasus. Ah, da da da! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's good.